Is your dog reactive? What does it mean? When we trainers talk about reactive dogs, um, we normally mean that your dog has big feelings um, towards certain triggers or certain stimulus in the environment. And those big feelings come out as behaviours that sometimes are hard for owners to understand or to deal with. So there are behaviours that we might consider abnormal for the situation. I'll make you some examples. You're walking down the road, your dog sees another dog, you would just walk past the dog, but no, your dog decides to bark, pull, spin, turn around and bite the lead, turn around by you, uh, whine, and then pant, and then vocalise again, and you don't know what to do. Your dog is reacting to other dogs, your dog is showing these big behaviours that are difficult to control and difficult to understand. So your dog is having big emotions towards other dogs. At the same time, you have a border collie that sees traffic and decides to start chasing it. Is that a reactive dog? Yes, for me, it's still a reactive dog. It's a dog that is reacting to a stimulus in a way that is not normal for the situation because I would like my dog to avoid that car and just simply walk past um, and not have big feelings towards a car. But actually, your border collie might feel fearful or anxious towards a car because it's making loud noises and it's going very fast or could be excitable or frustrated because they would like to stop that movement, but they can't because, of course, they're on the lead and they can't chase after a car. So reactivity is not just about your dog being aggressive, your dog being fearful. There's a lot of emotions in there. So we have um, dogs that are reactive because they're scared, dogs that are reactive because they're anxious. We have dogs that react because they are overexcited or frustrated. They see a situation they would like to get involved in. They want to go and say hi to a dog. They want to chase the squirrel and they can't so they get very wind up and they start offering those behaviors again the barking the whining the spinning the pulling on lead lunging towards it um so these to me are all dogs that are reactive towards a stimulus that they can't really cope with um so frustration fear anxiety excitability um these are all emotions that your dog might experience when they are reacting to something. Does any of this sound like your dog? This is the third video of a series I've done on reactivity. In the first one, we discussed about um, what is a reactive dog? Is your dog reactive? And in the second one, we discussed what are the emotions behind um the reactivity, um, the so-called reactivity. Um, now, the behaviours that we see is the third part of this series. And these behaviours are sometimes confused as other behaviours. Um, so I get a lot of time, people come to me and say, oh, my dog is pulling on a lead. And I'm like, OK, so we need to go and do lead training and then I go down deep into asking question and actually I found out that a dog is pulling on a lead when they're walking on the road um, and that they're fearful of traffic or um, the dog is um, pulling because he wants to greet other dogs so um, it's not pulling because it's not knowing how to walk on a lead is pulling because it's frustrated and it's pulling lunging and whining and breaking the owner's arms that are sore and um and that's not a dog that can't that, that can't walk on a lead that's just a dog that is frustrated because he wants to get to another dog um and then again we have you know the border collies that um wants to chase wildlife for example and they will take off after wildlife so um i have you know, a recall problem. Yes, probably you have a recall problem, um, but your dog is also reacted to movement um, because they can't control their emotions. So maybe without in, in a world without wildlife, your dog would have a perfect recall. But in a world full of movement, your border collie reacts to that movement by chasing. And if the dog is off lead, of course, 
that's it. <laughs> so yeah, behavior that you see sometimes are mistaken by things that are by obedience. You know, I have a lot of um, students that come to me and say, I, I, I had other trainers and they told me my dog needed more obedience. It's not obedience. Your dog doesn't need more obedience. Your dog needs to learn how to cope with those emotions. And yes, there will be dogs that only need recall training. There will be dogs that only need lead walking and they're perfectly happy otherwise. But what the majority of dogs I see, they don't need more obedience. They need to learn to control their emotions or they, le they, they learn to cope with stimulus that produce stronger emotions like fear and anxiety. So the behaviors you see, um, don't confuse them as lack of obedience or your dog being naughty or your dog being dominant. A dog that bites goes in the face of other dogs and try to nip the face of other dogs. They're not dominant. They are actually reactive dogs. They're dogs that probably are scared to do face-to-face -face interaction with other dogs and the way they show it is by nipping and biting. Um, so if you got to the end of this video, which is a bit longer than the other two, I wanted to let you know that um, I've got a webinar. There's a webinar that's coming at the end of November and that webinar is going to be all about understanding dog reactivity. Um, reactivity in border collies actually, not just in dogs. So we're going to just go specific in some of the border collie traits that actually create reactivity like the chasing and the herding and and so on so i'm going to um give you a link um if you put a yes me in the comments i'm going to message you directly with a link to read more about the webinar which has a very discounted and special price of £8.99. It's my Christmas present for all my followers, all my members. Normally my webinars are double the price but I've decided to give you all a present and it's my last webinar for 2023. Um, so yeah, let me know if you want to join the webinar. Um, this price is only available for the live ticket and you also get the recording at the end of it. Um, the webinar will be available later on, but it's going to be a normal price of £22. So don't let this price um, go off. We're going to talk about, um, we're going to go down into the reasons, the emotions, the behaviours, the management, the tools to use or not to use. And then my favourite exercise that I'm going to give to you on how to start your reactivity journey uh, to improve your dog's behavior, but more importantly, to improve your dog's emotions.